Hi guys, how's it going? It's Claris again. And today I'm going to do a fairly quick tutorial on my new favorite flower, the Ranunculus. Uh, it's, um, it's actually also known as a Persian buttercup and it's the ones with a lot of folds. And initially I thought it was a rose, but it really isn't. Anyways, uh, I tried it out and it was a lot of fun to do. And I figured why not? Let's uh, do a tutorial on it. So to start off, I'm just going to let you know which brushes I'm using. I'm using quite a few brushes. I'm using the four, the eight in the silver, black velvet. I'm also using like a basic round ten. And this is just so that I can quickly get to my greens. And uh, I have the mop brush on standby in case I need to use it at all. And this is in the one. All right. So let's just get started. I'm going to use my four and I'm just going to start off with the center, which is supposed to be a green. And so it's just like a really tiny green. Center, so we just start off like that. And then I have a couple of colors that I've mixed up here because it kind of starts off with a very light orange and then kind of blends into like a pink. I'm gonna try and get it as light as I can. I'm not sure how well that's gonna work, but let's see. So this is a little darker than anticipated. So I'm just gonna go and do basic. And then I'm going to dip it, dip my brush into water so that it takes away most of the color and then keep doing the circular movements, leaving white space in between. And now I'm going to go and dip into the pink and start the pink. And you want to do as many of these lines as you can. You might even want to do a brush, like a six in this. And that might be a little better for you. And so you just keep on doing these movements all around. And create as many of these lines with variations of darkness and lightness in the pinks and then at the very end what I like to do is just dip my brush in water completely and then just kind of go around the edges to blend excuse me the last um, set really well the the last set of uh, petals if you will and now that everything's in there I'm gonna go in with uh, the same brush and I'm gonna take in my a little bit of the orange and I'm gonna go this way and hopefully it's still wet for you guys and so it blends in nicely And then just do like more of these folds. And then I'm going to go in for the pink. And that would look something like this. Maybe slightly darker here because the orange is just to sort of have that blend in.
can keep on doing that and again I'm just gonna go after dipping my brush in more water just kind of go with kind of like just a water brush no color on it just all around wherever I see fit and move the color around And there you have it. That's how you do a ranunculus. And I'm just going to, because I have these other green brushes, and what I wanted to do was little buds. So I'm just going to show you how those buds are done as well. So I'm using the tiny brush, and I'm just going to do a very quick center. It has like a little bit of yellow in the center, but it's turning out more green. To wash my breast that's what I should have done mix my yellow a bit and then just kind of do a circle And then taking the dark green that I have already, I'm just going to go in and do that and that because it's it, it almost kind of looks like mini, um, what's it called, watermelons. They're super cute and kind of fun to do as well. And then just let them bleed over that way. So that's that's what the bud looks like. I'm just going to do... A few more of them just well just one more on this side and using this brush and this is a little rougher than the other one like it's not as detailed as the other one but you get the drift right so this is what this is my tutorial on the ranunculus. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Thanks guys. Bye.